Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's convert the entire assembly into a single part file. And this will be done using boolean operation inside the assembly and this technique can be used for both kind of assembly, top down assembly as well as bottom up assembly. So let's get started. And to do this, I'll create a small top down assembly. You can have your own bottom up assembly as well. So let's create a top down assembly. Go to new. Select assembly, I'll select the default name, I'll say OK. Now here I'll create three different parts one by one. So I'll go for create, part, default name, say OK, OK. I'll go with default and say OK. One more part I'll create, part, part name, OK, OK, default. Same thing I'll repeat once again, create part name, OK, OK and default. So I have three parts here. Now I'll just activate the first one and here I'll go for extrude, tree filter, feature and apply and OK. I will go for top plane, circle. This I'll consider as 70, say OK, both side and the thickness I'll consider as 60. My first part is done, now I'll go for second part, activate it. Now here once again I'll go for extrude, I'll go for top plane, normal, here I will create reference, close, go for circle, this I will consider as 100, say ok, both side, height I will consider 30, say ok. So I have two parts now, one more part I will create by activating this, here I will go for extrude, again this top plane, normal, I will take this reference, circle, one more circle, this I will take 125. OK, again both side, this I'll take as 15, I'll say OK. One more time I'll go for extrude, I'll select this face, normal, I'll go with center line, reference, line. I will create line something like this, I will go with symmetry, this point and this point will be symmetry with this and then this point and this point will be symmetry with this, I will go with center arc from this center, I will draw an arc, now I will go for dimension, this will be 10, This dimension will be 15, this again I will take 15, say ok and now I will go with selected one and select this surface, say ok. This item I am going to pattern, axis pattern. I will select the center axis, here I am going for 360 and item will be 15, I am considering 15 items, say ok, say ok. Now you have three different parts here, if you see this is the first part, the center cylinder, if I open this separately it will look like this. Then you have second part which is this one, 
this is a hollow one kind of hollow cylinder and then you have third part which is this one kind of gear type now these three parts i have in top down assembly and i'm going to convert this assembly into a single part and for this i'm going to use boolean operation inside the assembly and this boolean operation can be used by two different ways and the first way is to create a new part file in which you merge all these three parts and make it a single part and the second way is no need to create any new part file you merge this three part into any one of these three parts so first let's do this by first way and to do this i'll just create one more part a new part i'll say okay okay and i'll assemble it by default and say okay so i have this new part here it is blank now so in this part these three parts are getting merged and to do this go to component component operation and here you have lot of options you have boolean operations go inside the boolean operation you have three types of boolean operation merge cut and intersect now here you have two options modify models and modifying components now click on modified models and select the blank part then you click on modifying components and select these three parts one by one now these three parts are added here i'll say okay or you can go for preview and say okay done now if you see this part first three parts are merged into this fourth part and this has become a single part now you can add round wherever you want now you can add chamfer you can even add round wherever you want something like this so this has become a single part file now the best part of this technique is you have total control over it so if you modify any part from here it will get updated into that part regenerate and go to this part and regenerate your part is getting regenerated now you can open this part from here whenever you want you can edit it like this regenerate close it and regenerate it will update accordingly so it is getting updated as per the parent part but it is a single part so you can add rounds wherever you want and this will work very fine so this was the first way now let's see that second way so i'll first delete this now i have three parts here this is the first part this is the second part and this is the third part now the same operation i'll do without creating a new part so this time i'm trying to merge these three part into any one of this part so let's do that go to component component operation boolean operations and this time in modified models i'll select the first model and modifying components i'll select this and this i'll say preview and say okay and done now if you open this first part you will have the first feature which was available there and then other two parts are merged to form a single part so here also you can create rounds wherever you want like this you can add chamfer you can add cut out if you want just like this
से ओके कट फ्लिप ऑल से ओके एंड योर पार्ट इज डन सो दिस टेक्निक वर्क्स फॉर बोथ काइंड ऑफ असेंबली टॉप डाउन असेंबली और बॉटम ऑफ असेंबली एंड यूजिंग दिस बुलियन ऑपरेशन इधर यू कैन क्रिएट अ न्यू पार्ट टू मर्ज ऑल अवेलेबल पार्ट इन टू दैट और यू कैन मर्ज अदर पार्ट इन टू एनी वन ऑफ दिस पार्ट टू मेक इट अ सिंगल पार्ट सो देर आर टू डिफरेंट वेज टू डू दिस एंड यू कैन गेट योर मर्ज सिंगल पार्ट फ्रॉम योर एग्जिस्टिंग असेंबली नाउ लेट्स हैव अ स्मॉल ब्रेक एंड मीन वाइल यू कैन लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू now there is one more simple way to convert the entire assembly into a single part so let's see that and for that first you open your assembly and then go to file save as save a copy and save your assembly as a neutral file i'll go with step and i'll say okay close the assembly erase it and then go for open and this time you open your neutral file I have this neutral file in step format. I'll select this. I'll say import. Now here, instead of importing as assembly, I will import as part, and I'll say okay. Now this part is a single part with solid feature. So this is a single part converted from the assembly, and now you can perform any other operation. You can add rounds. you can add cutouts the only difference between this method and previous method is in this method you get a non editable part file where in previous method you can edit the part file using parent files now you save this part file as a single part file close it and now you can open this part as single part file so this was the whole idea to convert a entire assembly into a single part and i hope this video will be helpful now you can write your comments about this video in comment section below and i'll see you in my next video thank you So this is it guys now like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates